Text to Speech came into my life probably my last year in college, right coming out, when I started to to move away from tape recorders and tapes. Um, I had volunteers in college that actually would would tape my um, textbooks, and they would sit hours and hours of putting putting textbooks and content on tapes. And back then, we used something called a four-track tape recorder, so you could put more information onto these tapes, and then I'm able to listen to through it and then get the information, the content. Text to Speech came along, and it was it was somewhere in the the early 90s when I transitioned out of college that I started using it for my in my work environment. There's lots of different versions of assistive technology, pretty much doing the same thing, but some different features with them. So I'm able to highlight text and um, have it read back to me. I can choose different voices for the text depending um, if I want you know a gender specific voice. Um, do different languages also. And a lot of these text to speech engines they just ensure that not only am I looking actually at the content, I'm also hearing it. So I'm double checking myself. So I'm not relying on just on myself. Today, I use um, text-to-speech in a variety uh, of, of methods. Um, if it, in, on, on the job, um, when I get in, I need to um, actually read an article or you know, a white paper, or um, I will actually open up the text-to-speech and then highlight it, and then it will read it back to me. Sometimes I have it hover um, on my desktop, so well, if, I'm, if I'm using my mouse and I'm hovering through specific icons, it will read it back to me just to make sure that I'm actually seeing hearing what I'm seeing. And then and from, a, from a home standpoint, you know, from, from kind of a social aspect of it, reading the news, uh, making sure that I stay on top of current events. Um, if there's not a video or something tied to it, I used to love watching TV, then I want to be able to pull up the New York Times or whatever post I may be looking at, highlight it, and have it read back to me. Text-to-speech is uh, used on, not only from a software application standpoint, but also is used from hardware. So most people know now text-to-speech is voiceover on the iPhone. So you click three times on your iPhone and voiceover comes on and you start listening to it. And it can read emails, you know, it can read the news, it can, you know, it can take you wherever you need to go, and you can actually hear the, the, the text-to-speech, which is just so beneficial. It's so much in, more involved in the mainstream now, whereas before, you had to buy it from a, a assistive technology vendor. Now now it's an, it incorporated into the, the applications themselves, like the iPhone. So it's pretty intuitive. Text-to-speech is not a difficult um, application to learn. Incorporating text-to-speech for a child um, can, can change their lives in so many ways. Um, they have now have access to content. They have access to textbooks. They have access to, to books that they may just read on their own for, for pleasure. Um, they can actually use it in the workplace. So if you, if down the road as they transition from K-12 to post-secondary, the reading increases in a post-secondary environment. So they have to be able to read things just as fast as everyone else.